Hello fellow Victorians, it's great to have you here again. Today I want to talk about the upcoming federal and state elections. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. I have something much more important to talk about. Many of us have elderly relatives in retirement homes. A neighbour of mine recently had his elderly mother in such a home. So what does this have to do with the upcoming elections, you may ask? Let me tell you. At these homes, nurses go around at election time and collect people's votes. They're supposed to ask them who they want to vote for and either fill in or help them fill in the ballot papers. But that is not always what happens. When the nurse came around for my neighbour's mother's vote, she told the nurse she wanted to vote Liberal. The nurse said to her, I'll put you down for Labour. The elderly woman repeated that she wanted to vote Liberal. Again, the nurse said, I'll put you down as Labour. What could the elderly woman do? Nothing, of course. She just had to accept it. When her children came around, she told them what happened. I was told the elderly woman had spoken to others at the retirement home, and they told her a similar story. Different nurses put them down as voting Labour when they wanted to vote differently. Those who are familiar with politics in Victoria may know that most nurses here are extreme and fanatical ALP supporters, and would not think twice about doing things like this. And I would not be surprised if this were not an isolated incident at just one retirement home. Was it just the idea of one person and their friends, or was it organised at a higher level? Think about the strategy behind this for a moment. All were elderly people who would soon depart this earth. Were they going to complain and take the matter to court in their frail state? No, they were easy targets, and probably would not even want to complain. Also, many elderly people typically vote Liberal, so it would be a very easy way of getting additional votes for the ALP and cutting down the votes for the Liberals. It is highly likely that some person in the ALP schemed all this out and figured there was only a small chance of any repercussions. Even if it did go to court, the elderly person probably would not see it through to the end of the case. And if they did, they would know that the stress of the court case would probably speed their demise. It's highly likely that someone in the nurses' union, or someone in the ALP itself, thought all this through, and saw it was an easy way to steal votes and get away with it. Remember that in 2014, the Victorian ALP devised the Red Shirt Program to get an additional 400,000 votes for Daniel Andrews. They knew that without these additional votes, they would lose the election. The ALP at that time were looking for every vote they could get. In the 2022 state election, the Victorian ALP is currently spending billions of dollars of public money to buy the votes of construction workers and others. I think there is very good evidence to think that this scheme to steal votes from the elderly was probably devised and put into action by people within the ALP itself. What worries me is this. I noticed in the news recently that there was talk of formalising and expanding the role of nurses collecting votes from elderly people in retirement homes. Is it possible that the early examples we discovered were simply trial runs to see if it worked and if the ALP could get away with it? And now that they know that they can, the ALP are going to expand this vote stealing on a massive scale. Some will say the ALP is formalising this vote collection at retirement homes just to get rid of this corruption. But this is the ALP we're talking about. This is the organisation that brought us the red shirts. People on the public payroll who lied about timesheets and whose job was to campaign for the ALP in the 2014 state election using public money. Those who refuse to see and recognise what happens in front of their eyes would think the ALP are fluffy white angels who can do no wrong. If the ALP had no qualms about the dishonesty and corruption behind the 2014 Red Shirts program, do you really think they would see a problem stealing votes from frail elderly people? What I suggest is this. Instead of putting elderly relatives through the stress and upset of seeing their votes stolen by corrupt nursing staff at their retirement homes, where they need to interact with these people politely on a regular basis, then do the following. Get postal votes for your elderly relatives in retirement homes, and then go there yourself to help fill in the ballots exactly as they want them filled in. I got my mother-in-law a postal vote, and my wife has already helped her fill it in just as she wanted. These nurses are corrupt, and will get up in front of you and say only they can be trusted with your elderly relatives to help them fill in their votes, knowing all the time that they have no intention of doing that. The ALP and their supporters talk about integrity, honesty and compliance with laws. 
but they don't know what these things are and have no intention of doing them. In their eyes, such things are for fools to follow. These people think of themselves, as I said before, as fluffy white angels who can do no wrong, when in fact they are fraudsters, deceivers and tricksters. The ALP seek to be in power at any price and by any means. For the ALP supporter base, when the ALP is in power, they are assured of large amounts of government money channeled to them by one means or another. For them, the ALP being in power means job security, profit and money in their pockets. For the ALP supporter base, it is never a matter of voting for what is best for the country, unless that is in their best interest. It is always a matter of voting for their livelihoods and job security. Robbing the elderly of their votes for them is a small thing to do when compared to having money in their pockets and job security. Think about your elderly relative and how they would be upset and distressed by people they trust robbing them in front of their eyes. Get postal votes for them and make sure their vote counts. And please do not think that you can be at the retirement home when the votes are taken. These activist nurses will first have you leave before they go about their criminal work. Someone has gone through all the details and has examined each possibility and now has formalised the process. You may think this is a terrible thing for me to say, and it is, but the ALP rely on that. It is terrible, and people would think it couldn't happen. It doesn't sound reasonable or plausible, but it did happen. We spoke to witnesses who experienced it firsthand. Unfortunately, those witnesses have now left this world, and I think that is exactly what the ALP planned for and expected. Take care and beware of these ALP gangsters.